Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here with my wife's 2008 Chevy Equinox. Fortunately, we got a couple awesome videos for you, um, but I'm going to line up this one first. We're going to do an oil change, so we'll get right to that. Uh, secondly, we're going to change a serpentine belt, and then finally, we're probably going to work on this awesome snowblower here that won't start, but let's get to the oil change. Well, we'll start out most oil changes like we usually do. Let's uh, drain the old oil out. So we got a 13 millimeter here. Oops. Bump her off here. Let's see if I can do this without getting oily. It's hard to use gloves and a camera. So yeah. Now the Napa that uh, I went to, uh, initially when I told them what I had for a car, they gave me the wrong oil filter. So it's a really easy one to remember. It's a 10W40, uh, it's a 1040, the like your tax form. So uh, this one has a 1040, so we'll get that drained out. Pop our wrench on here. It's the wrong way. We'll get this one drained out too. Once again, just like the Chevy Uplander, very much a uh, easy to do upright filter type thing. So. And uh, I always like to pre-lubricate uh, my uh, filters here, pre-fill them. Uh, we're using a 5W30. This happens to be the wife's car. It's a nicer car, so we'll use a, thin synth a synthetic oil. And we'll just fill it up here. And we'll get a little oil ring around the top here. And then we'll put one more pour in there because it's actually, there's a filter media in here, so it doesn't quite, you know, just pour in and be done. And this oil is about zero degrees Fahrenheit, so kind of cold. We'll clean up the underside of the car now that the oil's out. All right, so now that the oil is mostly out, I'm gonna take a clean rag and wipe the bolt surface here, or the, so that's nice and clean. And then also the filter surface, this shiny ring. Uh, this car tends to get a, a lot of dirt around that area, so give it a good nice wipe with a rag. It should come off pretty easy. And that's good. Then we'll put everything back in. So I'll start with the, the bolt here. Screw, and then tighten it just a bit. Just looking for a seal, like that. And then I'm gonna hand turn the filter up, which is now full of oil and lubricated until it makes contact, which it does right there. Give it three quarters of a turn. Put this back on and switch it to tighten. We'll give it three quarters of a turn, which means the label should come out. There, it's done now too. So that's all the bottom end work. Uh, let's do the top end now. Cool, so we're top side now. Uh, I got a rag right here. Um, I, the funnels I have are small and and in this cold weather, the oil is so thick that it's a real pain to pour with. So I often just try to shoot the, shoot the hole. Got some moisture going on here. Not surprising, I did kind of just barely heat it up to get it warm enough to pour the oil. So I'm not overly concerned with that. We haven't had a drop in coolant, so we're cool there. Just condensation. So let's go ahead and drop some oil on this girl. Once again, I'm going to shoot for about four and a half quarts. Not too bad on the spillage. That's clean. Let's drop that in. The hole sealed. Lift the rest of that up. Now let's check the oil level. I'm going to clean part of my rag here. Wipe all the old stuff off. And it's full, so let's go ahead and start it and get it off these uh, ramps. I'll show you the start. So we got the car off, off the ramps, nice and level now. Let's 
drain, wipe that off nice and got a nice clean rag here. Dry it really well. Double check we put in the right amount of oil. And yes, we are three quarters in the full area. So that's where I want to be. So that's an oil change on a 2008 Chevy Equinox, 3.4 liter. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Leave any questions or comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for awesome updates on what I'm doing. Uh, please check out the next video I've got lined up for you. And also uh, check out my Patreon page if you want to support what we're doing here. And finally, check out my other less tractory page, Red Barn Homestead. You can subscribe to that too, see some awesome stuff. And we'll see you next time.